A company planning to extract shale gas in Lancashire says it could create more than 5,000 jobs in the UK, 1,700 of them in Lancashire alone. The company hopes to begin drilling commercially within two years. Stuart Flinders was, uh, is in Blackpool where Cordrilla has been holding this news conference and on the face of it, uh, Stuart, quite incredible news really at uh, this economic climate and it could change the face of Lancashire. Well, yeah, as you say, on the face of it, this is very good news. They've carried out a number of projections and based on the assumption that they'd end up with 400 wells, they say they would create 5,000 jobs, 1,700 Lancashire alone, and these will be very highly skilled jobs. They would pay on average £55,000 a year, which is about twice as much as the average pay in Lancashire at the moment. And what exactly do they want to do there? Well, they do something called fragging. Basically, they put the shale beneath the earth and uh, access gas there. They've been carrying out exploratory drills now at three sites in Lancashire, and they say that if all goes well, within two years, they'd like to start doing it for real. Here's the company's chief executive. This can have a great economic uh, boost to the area, particularly in the types of jobs that would be created. So. As we projected today, there's, 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 there's a lot in it for the, the workers that want to come on board and, and get a career in this oil and gas industry. And so, yes, very large. It's quite controversial, though, isn't it, Stuart, with the environmentalists? Yeah, they're not happy about it. A small protest was staged outside today's news conference here at the Imperial Hotel. And they point out that in France and in South Africa, this process is illegal because they believe that uh, it's damaging to the environment. Here's what one of the protesters told me. Those jobs could and should be in green energy. You know, we need, we need a revolution in the economy to really deal with climate change effectively. We need to be moving much quicker than we are to a low-carbon economy. That would be a lot of jobs, a lot of development. They've cut back on investment in, in, in marine um, energy, for instance. But, but these are jobs that are on offer now that they're saying they can create in the next few years. Well, they could create jobs in, in renewables if they put the investment there. Phil Thornhill, one of the protesters there. Uh, just a point about the earthquakes. Remember earlier this uh, year from April and again, I think in June, there were two small earthquakes that some people wondered whether they've been caused by the drilling. Well, the company tell me that they're expecting a report on that within 30 days' time. Thanks very much. From a very windy Blackpool there, clearly. Thank you very much. That's Stuart Flinders. Tributes have been paid to a royal... <laughs>